Well, we are in pretty rugged terrain right now. We are standing in Westland's famous rainforest and we're on the way to meet the world's only breeding colony of the Westland petrel. What's a Westland petrel? Well, come with me and find out. One of the parents will stay with the chick, just keeping it warm and stuff. But as the chick grows up, it starts demanding more and more food, and so both parents have to go away to sea and start feeding it. These will be feeding for about another three months. Like where we looked out from here, it's just a straight flights down the valley there, straight out to sea, so yeah, no effort. They can, you can hear the sea, and you've got all of this nice slope with heaps of deep soil, and they can burrow into that and get nice deep burrows with lots of drainage, and it's quite warm in there. But what they normally do is fly over the top of the bush here, and they'll just stop flying, flop into the top of the bush, have a bit of a wiggle around, and drop through onto the forest floor, sort of knocks the breath out of them. They'll, they'll sit there for a couple of seconds, and recover themselves and then they'll waddle off to their burrows. It's around November, the parents stop feeding them, they just stop coming back and the, the chicks come down to the entrance of the thing and they're expecting a feed at night and nothing's happening. But they'll come out and they'll find little wee high places and uh, they'll practice with their wings and they'll start exercising and they lose weight because they're not getting fed. And um, they'll fly up and down the slope here, crash into the trees and stuff. And then all of a sudden it works one day and they're off. They go out off the west coast here and a lot of them end up down off the coast of Chile. They're away for about six to seven years and when they come back they'll fly straight back into this colony and they'll land within 20 metres of the, the burrow where they were born and try and dig a, a burrow in the same area or reclaim the same burrow. They have these huge fights really mean. You see them here sometimes locked beak to beak, just tumbling down the hill here right from top to the bottom and they, they won't let go. The Barrytown school kids were listening to the current events program on the radio and they were talking about the uh, mutton birding in summer and the kids said, no, that's not right. We go mutton birding with our dads in the winter. And uh, the school teacher was fond of mutton birds, so he got them to bring one in and thought, oh yeah, they're right. They're mutton birds in winter, so he sent it off to Canterbury Museum and um, Sir Robert Fowler got hold of that and landed on his desk and he thought, oh, this is an undescribed species, it's totally new. That was 1946. Well, this is one of the main takeoff trees for the colony. Just before dawn, all of the birds will start coming up from their burrows and it's like rats. Walking across the ground, there's, there's birds everywhere and they're all just making a beeline for one of these spots and this is one of the main ones. So, and that's the hole there that they, that they fly out. This colony is in a scientific reserve and it's an extremely special area where the Westland petrels have found a safe place to live and breed and made a few friends like Chippy along the way. 